Hello everyone, Quentin Anderson here with Eagle 3D Streaming. Today I am going to show you how to download and install Unreal Engine 5.2 onto your PC. Let's get right into it. The first thing that I need to do is to double check to make sure that my system will support Unreal Engine. This video specifically will cover Windows. I'll provide this link in the description and it's a good way to check to make sure your system will be compatible from a hardware and software standpoint. In particular, make sure you're running Windows 10 or 11, you have a quad core Intel or AMD processor, at least 8 gigs of RAM, and that your graphics card can support DirectX 11 or 12. In addition to these requirements, another item to keep in mind is you will need a version of Visual Studio running on your PC, which I will show you how to do. And if you're thinking about using some of the features in Unreal Engine, like Nanite and Lumen, then you will, it will be better to have DirectX 12 installed. There is an easy way to check to confirm that you have the necessary hardware and software on your PC. I, the way that I do that is I click the Windows icon, and then I type run. After run comes up, I type in DXDIAG and I press OK. This will bring up my DirectX diagnostic tool. From this tool, I can confirm all of my system specifications needed to run the engine. So the first is my DirectX version. And in this example, I have DirectX 12, so I'm covered. The next is my memory. I need at least eight gigs, and this is in megabytes, so this is actually 57 gigabytes of RAM, so I have plenty of RAM, and my processor needs to be a quad-core Intel or AMD, and I have a 64-core processor. This, And I'm also checking my Windows version. I have Windows 11, so it looks like I'm all set in order to download and install Unreal Engine. After I have confirmed that I have DirectX and the proper hardware specs for Unreal Engine, the next thing I need to do is I need to download Visual Studio. I go to visualstudio.microsoft.com forward slash downloads and I go to community and I click free download. Once I click free download, then the Visual Studio setup will appear in my downloads and I just click the Visual Studio installer, and the installation process will begin. I click continue, and now Visual Studio is going to be installed onto my PC. Once the installer has finished and is running, now we can go ahead and install Visual Studio. The first thing that I need to do is I need to check all necessary prerequisites to run Unreal Engine. The first one that I need to select is desktop development with C++. Then I scroll down to game development with C++ and I enable that. The next ones are the Windows 10 SDK. And if you're running Windows 11 like I am, it would be Windows 11. If you're running Windows 10, it would be win Windows 10. I'll install both of them, even though I'm running Windows 11. But you could install both or just install the one for your version of Windows. Then I'm going to scroll down, select Unreal Engine Installer. Next, I'm going to click on Individual Components. And I'm going to confirm that the latest version of .NET is selected, as well as the latest version of the SDK. And all I do is I just scroll down, and I see that this version of the SDK has been selected. And once I, am, once I have all of these selected, the next thing I'm going to do is click Install. And the installation process will begin. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now while we wait for this to finish. If you ever need to check to make sure you have the proper version of Vi Visual Studio installed or if it was installed properly, just click the Windows button, type in Visual Studio Installer, click it and it will bring up Visual Studio Installer and you can see that you have a version of Visual Studio installed. You can always click modify if you ever need to modify which settings are installed for your Visual Studio. Now that we have everything installed, we can go ahead and begin the installation process of Unreal Engine. 
Now that I have Visual Studio in DirectX installed, I'm ready to download and install Unreal Engine. The first thing I do is I go to a browser and I type in download Unreal Engine. Look for the download Unreal Engine search result and click it and you should arrive on this page, which I will provide as a link in the description. Scroll down and click on download launcher and you will see that the launcher is downloaded into your downloads folder and after it's finished downloading just click it which will begin the launcher for installation and I select the proper directory and I click install. Now if you don't see to install a proper directory sometimes when you install Visual Studio the Epic Games launcher is automatically installed so if you instead see something that says the options to repair or replace, then that means that you probably already have installed the Epic Games Launcher and you can skip this step. Otherwise, if you see that it specifies a folder directory, then continue with the steps that I'm showing on my screen. Once you finish installing, you will need to sign in. If this is your first time signing in, then you'll need to create an account. I click sign up. And then I click sign up with email and I go ahead and follow the steps. After I finish creating my Epic Games account, I start the Epic Games launcher, which looks like this. If you don't see it on your screen, the way that you can access it is clicking the Windows icon and then typing in Epic Games launcher and you will see the application appear here. Once you have the Epic Games Launcher open, you're, you will install Unreal Engine through this. And I'm going to hand it over to Morteza, an Unreal Engine developer at Eagle 3D Streaming, to walk you through the engine installation process. Morteza, all yours. Hey, now let's go through the process of installing Unreal Engine itself. So assuming you have already installed Epic, Epic Launcher, all you have to do is to log into your account and go to the Unreal Engine tab on the left side. Once you do that, you will go to the library and you can press the plus button to create a new installation. So from this menu here, if you just click on the uh, version, you can change the version that one you want to install, just like that. And you press install. Now make sure the folder is correct, the path to install the engine. Now to options. So in options, we have the core component, which is the, of course, the engine itself. Then we have a starter content. A starter content are some materials, some basic shapes, some uh, particle systems, some sounds even, which can get you started for your game. So you won't start completely empty handed if you want to just play with the engine, see how things work. This is sort of content are going to be useful for you. We have templates and feature packs. So most of the projects done in Unreal Engine fall into some general categories. For example, for games, we have first person or third person. Or Unreal also can be used for making special effects in movies or demonstrate architecture. Unreal has created some of these as a template, which can be used as a starting point. And you can edit these templates to create your final project. Engine source is some C++ files. If your game is going to contain C++ code, you will need this to be able to read the source code of the engine, see how uh, Epic has written some of its functions and other codes. This can be useful for you, both for understanding and understanding how the engine works and having a sample of how you should write your own code in your project. Next is editor symbols for debugging. Imagine you have finished a project and decided to package it as a standalone game and you see some errors or bugs, but there is no Unreal Engine editor anymore. Here, if you have downloaded editor symbols, you will be able to connect your .exe file to Visual Studio and find your bugs there and fix them. And finally, you can see target platforms. So you can see all sorts of platforms that Unreal supports, such as Android, iOS, Linux, and of course, since I'm using Windows, there is no Windows in this list. This is already included. Now I'm not going to use any of these, so let's uncheck them all and let's press install.
All right, now that the installation is complete, I'm going to launch the Unreal Engine. So once you are in this window, you will be able to select one of the recent projects. Or in my case, I'm going to create a new game. So I'm going to go to game, select blank. You will also be able to see all of the templates that we talked about in the previous part. Now we can select your project to be blueprint based or C++ based. Uh, the difference between these two is that when you create a blueprint based kind of project, you will only have access to blueprint nodes. You can make your actors, your objects, your everything else in blueprints, but you cannot use any C++ code in your project. If you make your project in C++ mode, you will have access to both C++ and blueprint nodes. But the only downside to making a C++ project is that your template actors or objects will also be in C++. So you will need to create some blueprint actors for yourself if you are going to use blueprints. Now we have target platform. This is going to be a desktop application. I can also select it to be mobile. Now let's to make sure that the project is in the correct location and the name is correct. And we're going to create our project. Okay, now that we have created our game, Visual Studio will also automatically launch. You will see that the project is also loaded into Visual Studio. And with that, we have completed installing Unreal, Unreal Engine and creating our first project. Back to you, Quentin. Thank you very much, Morteza. By the way, everyone, when you get to the point to where you need to publish your Unreal Engine application, check out Eagle 3D Streaming. They have a super cool platform where you can upload your Unreal Engine application and share it over the internet. All you have to do is export a build for Windows with the Pixel Streaming plugin enabled, package all of those files, and upload it to our system. Just go to controlpanel.eagle3dstreaming.com to create your free account today. It is as simple as uploading your Unreal Engine project and clicking play app. And with a simple click, you'll be able to share your Unreal Engine application to anyone who has access to the internet. It's absolutely amazing. Thanks for checking out this video.